actually relatives of the giraffe. And this type of habitat is also home to forest antelope, such as Nyella and Bongo. Oh, Summer-coated animals are white bearded wildebeest. They're otherwise known as GNU because of the strange grunting sounds they make. Jumbo. Jumbo. They're going to make up their mind. <laughs> <laughs> he can't make up his mind. All right, there they go. Baby. Hill also right over there to our right hand side. You can see some ostriches. The ostriches you see there with the black feathers is the male. And the ones with the gray feathers are females. Now, all the ostriches do have wings that are off quite with birth, but they can reach speeds at up to 40 miles an hour. These large dark coated animals on our right hand side are sable antelopes. And the stables are the most aggressive of all antelopes. Their horns can grow to be about here in a minute. Now those elands are the largest of all antelopes. When they're fully grown, they can shred. Coming up here on our left, that is a baby giraffe right there. So when a baby giraffe is born, it's already about five to six feet tall and weighs around 150 pounds. And a full-grown giraffe can stand at 14 to 20 feet tall. Scimitar horned orcs. The little brown and white animals are Moors gazelles. Now the Tommy gazelles were the smallest of all gazelles, and those Moors gazelles are the largest. 60 to 70 miles an hour. Now, and this is not unusual considering the fact that lions will sleep. 